in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to make an iceberg infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here the iceberg which is the visible part uh, i've just put some options here and this is the bottom part of the iceberg which is bigger and then you can add more detailed points here along with the title detailed text and the icon and i have added a little fun animation to it when i click you can see here the ship comes and then it crashes with the iceberg and then it goes down it sank so uh, let's see how to do this iceberg infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide and i'm going to insert a rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle by covering the top part of the slide and i'm going to make the height as 2.75 seven five and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can use some light color later on we can change the color and then i'm going to draw the iceberg the top part of the iceberg which is visible uh, in the sea for that let me just go to insert shapes and from the lines i am going to select the freeform shape so I'm just going to select start from here just click it and you can just click some shapes random shapes you can make it and uh, don't worry about the size you can just uh, later on you can just adjust it. And then I'm just going to cover this uh, just you can see here I've just merged it so it becomes this blue shape and just click it and then make it no outline and I'm going to give some light color here and you can just reduce the width something like this so just uh, the shape we have made it now we have to add more shadow effect here now I'm going to change the color of this background right mouse click go to the format shape and fill select the gradient fill by default it is four stops I'm just going to delete and I'm going to make it a radial I'm going to select this make it somewhat lighter color here and here I'm just going to make it somewhat a darker color and I'm going to select this part which is from center you can see here and then I'm going to give some shadow effects here just a minute yeah I'm just going to reduce the size and the height also you want let me just move it up and then to give the shadow effect I'm just going to shapes again select the freeform shape and just make some shadow effect something like this you can see here i'm just going to select and shape outline make it no outline and i'm just going to select this particular color and again go to insert shapes select the freeform shape again and you can give something here also some kind of uh, designs again the same thing again go to insert shapes I'm going to select the free form again and you can give somewhere here also and make it no outline so likewise we can just give uh, more uh, shadow effect you need so let me just add one or two more uh, this one go to insert shapes again I'm going to insert something here again the same color shape outline make it no outline and one more you can give here this side you can see here and again so this upper part uh, that we have created let me just add one more 
again shapes free form i'm just going to add it somewhere here the same thing so you can see here the the iceberg the top part is ready now we have to add the bottom part so for that let me just go to insert shape select the rectangle and cover the bottom part here you can see here shape outline make it no outline and you can give some darker colors here so let me just give also the gradient fill here you can see here uh, I have just used the dark blue here and the kind of a black here at the bottom and then I'm going to draw the iceberg which is uh, the bottom part uh, which is in the sea go to insert shapes again I'm going to select the the freeform shape start from here you can see here and again you can just draw a kind of a cone shape you can see here you can just draw any shape as you like and then I'm just going to join this one the moment you see uh, this color just click it and shape outline I'm just going to give maybe uh, no outline here and shape fill you can give maybe this color and you can increase somewhat transparency level also so that we know this is uh, uh, in the C area and if you want you can just change some other color to this okay let me just go insert shapes select the the freeform shape let me just zoom in and then I'm just going to use the blue is not clearly visible here so just make some something like this and make sure that this is blue now then give a somewhat darker color and increase the transparency level and shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to make two or three more of these shapes again shape outline I'm going to use it maybe this side which is not that visible but the blue line but the moment you able to see the uh, this one then you can just uh, click it and again give the same shape outline no outline again increase the transparency level and one more you can add it the other side go to insert shapes select the free form let me just zoom in and then I'm going to use at this point you can see here again the same color no outline and just increase the transparency level so you can see here the bottom part also is ready and you can just maybe can increase further and align it properly so once this is done and now it's time to add one more uh, shape here I'm just going to insert shape select the rectangle draw it here a smaller one only you can see here shape outline make it no outline and again give some the same color which I have used here and the direction the this one I'm just going to make it on the top and this one the bottom part I'm going to make it fully transparent so you can see here there's a clear so this is uh, the the upper part and this is the the lower part now you can just add the points uh, at the bottom and add some points for the top of the iceberg so i'm just going to insert some points i'm going to add the oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and then you can add some arrows here something like this you can just do it you can see here this also outline I'm going to make it white and if you want you can just increase the weight and then the dotted line I'm just going to use something like this you can see here and then press ctrl D how many points you want you can just add that much options there 
again control D let me just duplicate this also then the other side press control D I'm just going to add some more options here so how many options you want you can just uh, add that much uh, circles so I'm just going to add maybe five circles and if you want you can just put option A B C D or one two three four or if you have the icons you can just simply go to insert and you can add the relevant icons let me just add some icons or some random icons you can see here let me just make the height as 0.5 only the smaller one and then I'm just going to add in the center you can see here and then you can add the detailed text go to insert text box add your detailed text here so black is not visible I'm going to make it white reduce the font size maybe you can align the right align for this one press ctrl D this is for this point you can see here again ctrl D bring it here left align again ctrl D this is for this option and you can add some options at the top here also you can add your options option 0 1 you can make it white bold and you can add this detailed text there control D you can add some here if you want you can add some more here so it's up to you how many text you want for the top of the iceberg and the the bottom one and the last part I'm just going to do the animations let me just uh, zoom out and you can see here I've just added one ship let me just take this ship which I've downloaded from the net control C and control V I'm just going to put it outside here you can see here and then go to animations enable the animation pane add animation you can go to more motion paths and you can just select from this one you can see here left and right so the moment I select right it comes this side click OK and how much you want you can just hold the shift key and move the ship till here you can see here and double click make smooth start smooth end to zero if you want you can just increase the bounce end and the timing if you want you can make it fast also so it comes something like that but fast is so much fast so I'm just going to make it somewhat slow so it comes something like this and if you want you can just uh, capsize this ship also you have to just add one more for example I'm going to add animation more entrance sorry more motion paths and let me just select this one diagonal down right you can see here click OK and this one I'm just going to move and put it this side you know you can see here and this one should happen after previous so let me just play so it comes here and then it goes down so something you can do some uh, fun animation to it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.